it's Sara and I'm here to share with you my current journey. Hi guys, it's Sara. I'm here to share with you my journey and my experience as an entrepreneur and as a mother. So I started a new challenge which is it's a weight loss challenge to lose 10 kilos in two months. I know it sounds pretty intense. I think it's intense too, but I think it's manageable and it's doable. So actually in my past, uh, so, previously, so previously in the past, I have lost a significant amount of weight and it's 15 kilos. And I've lost 15 kilos over two years. So that's 15 kilos over two years. This is 10 kilos over two months. And that's a huge difference. But it wouldn't be called a challenge if it's not challenging. And like I said, when I look back last year and I thought about, wow, how am I physically, well, in terms of health at the same level as I was last year, this is how I think. This is how my brain works, okay? So I thought about, well, one year, one year went by. I mean, there was a pandemic. Uh, there was the lockdown. Lockdown started in March, and then two months went by, three months went by, six months went by, and then it's the end of the year. So my point is, I thought, wow, time will pass anyway, no matter what I do, no matter what I do, time will pass, and time will wait for me. So what did I achieve during that time? What changed? What happened? What did I do? And when I looked at last year, I thought, wow, I didn't change in terms of my health. And I thought, what about now? Let's do it now. There's no better time than now, right? So, and based on my experience, I know we all know how to lose weight. We all know how to be, how to be healthier. We all know this. We just don't do it. And why don't we do it? Because of our mindset and you and I know this and if you don't know this then I'm telling you it's all about the mindset you really can achieve what you want in terms of physical or how you look or your weight but it has to start from the mind if you don't if you cannot if you cannot believe it and you don't have a strong motivation to 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 lose weight then then you won't no matter what you do you would always just gain back the weight sharing this with you in hopes that you could learn something from me anything something i hope or you could be inspired or i just want to share with you how i work or how my mind works so i bumped into my friend at the at the mall a couple of weeks ago before the lockdown I bumped into my friend and this is my friend from high school so she's known me since I was 13, 14, 15, 16 and then I changed schools so she's known me since then so that's like 11 at least 11 years ago and so we were talking and she asked me about life and I, I can't remember exactly the details of the conversation but she said something and then I said and then I said, yeah, you know, yeah, times are hard, but you know, we just have to look at the bright side. Let's just look at the bright side, look at the positive. And then this is what she said, Ima. So she said, oh, sorry, you're always like this. Oh, look at the positive, look at the bright side. But dulu, you always say, oh, be positive, positive, you're such a positive person. And when she said that, I was like, yeah, I actually, I forgot because forgot who I was because we're not always positive right I mean generally I am an optimistic person generally I am a positive person but I'm not like this every day I'm not like this even every week some I went I went through the phase of of being a pessimist that was bad but from my experience being a pessimist doesn't improve your life <laughs> Being a pessimist doesn't improve your life. Uh, noticing the bad patterns 
in your life or, or seeing everything that's wrong about your life actually doesn't improve it so so when my friend said that I went back and I thought about it and that is a part of me that I am really proud of and um, I'm happy that I could encourage and motivate motivate my friends I, they like to talk to me when they're feeling down or when they're facing problems and that's perfectly fine I mean that's what friends are for and what I know to and they say that they talk to me because it makes them feel better after talking to me and I know why it's because I'm a positive person and shit happens shit happens to everyone you and me but we really have to look at the bright side and look at fixing the problem look at the solution so you have to look at the solution don't just look that don't just look at my life sucks my life sucks no i'm fat i'm fat yeah you're fat but you can change it if you want to that's why i say it starts in the mind if if you want to lose weight you have to want it first and you have to believe that you can a lot of people they go into diets but actually they don't fully believe they can even as they're going into it they say oh this will last me for a week then after that i don't that diet you know and and the, yeah they still go into it but they themselves don't believe that they can do it and it starts with, it starts in believing that you can that you can that you can do it this is this is doable you can do it and it starts in the mind first so that's my goal and what's my mission what's my strategy how do i achieve this how I, how i plan to achieve this is through clean eating and exercising every day it's just two, two things clean eating and exercising every day what defines the exercise my definition of exercise is working out for one hour no matter what workout that is on treadmill jogging running um um, zoom workouts following YouTube videos workout videos because we can't go to the gym now at the moment so that's my definition of, of exercise for me in eating to me is at the moment it's no oil less salt no sugar and I try to keep that at a 95% because it's five percent of the time that I might be eating it. For example, like today, I mean, like last night, I'm staying here at a hotel, and it's hotel food, and and I don't get to tell the chef, please don't put oil in my fish. So, so it's okay. I'm not gonna beat myself up for that. So that's my strategy. And if you guys wanna join, do come along, and. If you want to join, then you can set your own. You can set your own, um, your own strategy and your own goal. My timeline, my due date is seventeen March. What's yours? You could set the same, but then I guess now it's too late to make. It's not too late, but it'd be hard. It'd be really difficult and really intense if you want to set, you know, tw uh, ten kilos, or I don't know, lose five inches of your waist. In, in a month and a half but that's probably too it's probably too intense up to you what you want to achieve so after this after i reach the 10 kilos i'm gonna review my plan review my exercise plan my diet plan and we re replan it because my body will look different i will feel different and i will need to adjust because i don't want to put back on the weight just by going back to eating as i was before i won't go back because i cannot because if i do then i would gain weight so i would have to either maintain this clean eating or i don't know incorporate it so let's just see what happens <laughs> thanks for listening to my ramblings and if you want to join me on this challenge do come along i hope it's beneficial see you in the next video